So if you're talking to a DevOps, a programming shop, and talking to them about technology, you got to know about GitLab. So let's take a brief introduction of what GitLab is. Here we're looking at the activity log, and this is basically a place where they go and log in information. Everything they're doing within GitLab gets loaded into the activity log. As you see on the far right-hand side, it actually marks down how long ago the comment was made. And they can actually click on those uh, hyperlinks there and drill down into more detailed information related to their comment. So it's very, very powerful. So the next section here, and you can see also multiple team members, of course, participate. Uh, they're invited, uh, but they participate. Then you can break it down into projects. So your code is broken down into multiple projects, as well as highlighting the technology. They happen to be using Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, and HTML. You can go into to-do list and create to-do list, which they don't seem to use. Activity log again, which we already viewed. Here we have groups where you can create different groups and explore those groups. They're not using that. Milestones. You can set out different milestones within your releases. So you see here they have release three, release four. You can add new milestones. Pretty simple stuff. They can log issues. Of course, there are none under my name, but you can look at different folks and actually search for what type of issues there are based on the release, upcoming information, milestones, things of that nature. You can merge code, and this is typically used if I'm looking at code on my local machine, I may want to merge it to the, the primary code so I can do a merge request activity. This is kind of a cool feature of snippets uh, of GitLab called snippets. Here, these are snippets of code, and there are thousands of snippets of code. They're basically small modules, right, of code that I can use in my application to make it a little bit better. So I can download, although they don't have any in the public section there, but I can download from the public. I can integrate those, merge those into my uh, code. I can keep private snippets that I'm using or internal. So it's pretty powerful here where I actually show the code uh, that I'm using and how it applies to my application. So if you need to do a specific function, maybe you need to do an LDAP connection, something of that nature, you may go out to the public area, look for that snippet of code, look through it, review it, make sure it's good to go, and then merge it into your primary code. So this is all about what the DevOps and development programmers are living in. They live in GitLab, understand a little more about GitLab, and communicate better with them.